of local artists who are going to transform the parking lot into a chalk masterpiece. Camby Brown is live there this morning with more on how the transformation is going to happen. Camby. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, you know exactly how this works is there's an outline here and Anne is working to get this done. She'll be working on this all weekend long. Uh, so if you come out this weekend, you'll be able to see her trying to get this done. It is a very tedious process. And let me tell you, it's very cold out here. So the fact that she's staying inside the lines right now, that is true artistic ability this morning, although she did mention She's wearing long underwear this morning. The thermals, you got to have them out here. Oh, so what is going to be happening this weekend if people come out to check this out? This weekend we have the 13th annual Via Arte Italian Street Painting Festival here at the Marketplace. Um, it's free, so come out and enjoy. There's going to be live entertainment. There's going to be stuff for the kids. Mainland's going to be bringing Tom Shoes artists out to actually paint shoes that you purchase at the store. We're going to have on Sunday only, San Joaquin Community Hospital is going to be doing a hardened stroke expo. It's a really good time to come out, have fun, support the Museum of Arts educational programs. Give us an idea of just how much of this parking lot because this is such a small space but so intric intricate in what she's doing. It's amazing to see this if you I mean you look around it's the entire front of the marketplace. We have high school students over here. We have local artists over here. We have professional artists over here and we're integrating art and fun. It's a, it's a great time. I can't say enough about it. And will this be going on all weekend long like they're still going to be working on these chalks. If people want to come out on Monday too, they'll actually be able to see that all done. Absolutely. If you want to get a sneak peek of how it happens, definitely stop by today, tonight, even at the marketplace, grab dinner. I know um, you got a chance to check it out yesterday when Anne was actually laying this down to be able to get the um, the outlines done. What yeah. was that like? It's a really interesting process and I'm not going to steal Anne's thunder so I'm going to let her talk about it in a little bit coming up, but these artists pour their heart and soul into this. They spend countless hours on the ground drawing. It's amazing. Yeah, I have to tell you, John, I was really surprised about how much this takes because, you know, doing chalk as a kid, it was very easy, but this is not the same. You know, I mean, this is, yeah, this is not the hopscotch that we did as kids. I this was going to say, Camby, it's not that this is any harder. It's just that the drawings we did weren't very good. Yeah, To do exactly. a good drawing is harder. I thought I was a good drawer back in the day. Yeah. I actually, I always knew I wasn't. I could, I could honestly compare mine to the kid next to me and knew that yeah, <laughs> that wasn't good. All right, Camby, thank you very much. Transformation is going to happen. Camby. Uh, there are bats out here. <laughs> they just turned on some more lights for us out here. Not really for us, for Anne, so she can see what she's doing. And there's all these bats over here. So if you ever come to the marketplace at 530 in the morning, you've been warned. Uh, and do the bats bother you this morning? No, I think it's appropriate for Halloween. It's October now, so um, you got to have some bats. And uh, last night at uh, dusk, the birds in the trees were going wild, and it was a really nice sound. So you so you have actually outlined this whole thing. Walk us through the process, and also, what is this that spilled over here, and is that going to affect your chalk drawing? I just noticed that. That's a puddle of rain. Apparently, it rained a little bit last night, so um, my lines are um, down pretty good, so they didn't go anywhere. Um, I had drawn the, the image to scale um, and then projected the image onto large paper, and then I put chalk on the back of the paper, laid the large paper down, then redrew on top of my line so all the lines offset as if it was a giant piece of carbon paper. How long does this take for you to do? Well, um, the drawing here on the ground will take me all four days. Um, I started uh, last yesterday afternoon putting the lines down in a little bit of color and then I'll work full day today, tomorrow, and most of the day Sunday. Okay, and if you want to come out and see Anne working also some other local artists, they have some high school students, some local artists, and then professional artists as well, come on out to the marketplace this weekend and best part about this besides getting to see Ann work her magic it's all free free you gotta love that uh, so come on out here to the marketplace also Monday this will all still be down here if you want to come by and check it out on Monday when it's all completed guys Amby, are you going to uh, draw your own piece of art or no heck no I'm terrible at this in Stick fact Ann, Ann is like a real professional here she makes her own chalk oh wow Isn't that crazy yeah. How do you even make chalk? You, it, it's a lot of things like ivory, soap, 
pigment, colored uh -huh. pigment. What what else goes into it? Lin uh, linseed oil, shaved ivory soap, wallpaper paste, and uh, powdered pigments. Yeah. There you go. Mm. Wow. Kind of sounds like the morning makeup routine, huh, Camby? <laughs> <laughs> Camby. Hey, good morning, John. Can you see the progress that we've made so far? Check this out. It's so amazing. And she's been working on this since we got out here this morning at 5 a.m. So you can see oh, just wow. how long it takes, you know, to get this. But so intricate. Not only are they going to have art out here, but they're also going to have something for your health on Sunday. What's going to be happening out here on Sunday, Stella? Well, we're going to have our annual Heart and Stroke Expo. What we're doing is reaching out to the community, making a plea actually for them to be responsible to recognize these new be early beginnings of heart attack and stroke. We want the community to know these early signs so that we can prevent heart disease and stroke. Okay, how but exactly does, does heart disease and stroke deal with art. <laughs> How do these go well, together? Well, we're taking advantage of the, uh, the time when they're out here having a good time. They're all relaxed, looking at this wonderful art to where their blood pressures will be low. We can <laughs> talk to them and educate them on health and heart disease. Okay, all right. So if you want to check that out, that is also free uh, all weekend long. Come on out here to the marketplace. This is just going to be transformed. They're going to have high school students, local artists, along with professional artists, all doing things like this. I'm really anxious to see if everyone else's is as intricate as this, because you can see this is all mapped out, ready to go, uh, then there's no way that she'll even be close to being done by the time we're done uh, broadcasting this morning. So you're going to have to come out this weekend to see exactly how it turns out. John? Camby, can you give us a stick figure at least somewhere? Draw a stick figure. You know what? I'll see if there's a little portion of the area. They have this very mapped out, though, because they pre the, the professional artists pre-do this by putting it on a piece of paper and then actually transferring the paper onto the pavement. I see. You don't want to waste a spot on people like you or I. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> All right. It's probably a good choice. All right, Camby, thank you very much.